Hello, everyone. My name is Sky Quintero, and I'm one of the talent development facilitators here with Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area. Today, we're going to go over the three salary negotiation tips. Let's get started. The importance of salary negotiation. According to a study conducted by George Mason University and Temple University, salary negotiations have a compounding effect, meaning if you negotiate for a higher salary at the beginning of your career, any raises you get in the future will be higher as well. For example, let's say that you negotiate 5K more at the age of 25. You will end up earning 634,000 more over the course of a 40 year career rather than just taking the job they offered you at 50,000. So you have to know your worth. In order to obtain a fair or more than fair wage, candidates need to engage in the negotiation process with employers. Now, understanding labor market information, also known as LMI, can help you with that process as well. Tip one, study LMI. Don't assume that what you made at your last job is fair. Take the time to research in the new, the new occupation salary range. And here are some tools to help you. Now, Work in Texas is connected to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. That can help you give, get salary ranges on a national level. Glassdoor is a great resource if there's no salary information listed on the job description. Payscale can help you with hourly wages. And LinkedIn looks at education and company size. You really need to utilize these tools so you can go in more prepared when, when dealing with salary negotiation. Now, it has been observed. You want the employer to mention salary first, if possible. Why? Where the goals are the opposite, you want the most. They want the least, and whoever mentions a figure first typically loses in that negotiation. Tip two, never be the first. Because employers are familiar with this, they will try to get you to name a figure first by saying, what kind of salary are you looking for? Don't take the bait. The simple counter move is to respond with, well, you've created the positions, so you must have some figure in mind. I would be interested in hearing what that figure is. Tip three, research the range. Now, this secret may be a little more involved. However, if you are interested in taking the time to do it, you should know how. In order to determine a range that would be acceptable for you, you want to look at the person's salary above you and the person's salary below you. How do you do that? Well, first you have to figure out their names or the names of their positions. This is where LinkedIn and networking helps immensely so you can locate people within a company. If you run into no information at all because a particular organization is so secretive, look at their nearest competitor. Uncovering the most that they will pay. It would be easy if every employer in every hiring interview were to mention right from the start the top figure that they are willing to pay for that position, but most employers don't. However, employers do know what the top figure is for the position that they are willing to pay, but they're hoping they can get you for less. Therefore, they start the bidding lower than what they are actually willing to go, and this creates a range. A range between the lowest they're hoping to pay versus the highest they can afford to pay. And that range is what negotiation is all about. In our full workshop session, we go through all the steps to prepare you for your next salary negotiation. How to answer interview questions regarding salary, understanding the importance of considering the whole benefits package, not just salary and learning how to negotiate a counteroffer. You can register for these workshop sessions through www.workinsexus.com. And as always, be sure to follow us on our Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area mobile app. It can give you access to our Job Nows portal, check out our most up-to-date workshop calendar for the month,
and even help you sign up for virtual job fairs that we offer. It is compatible for iPhones and Androids as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's session. I hope to see you all at the next workshop, and I wish each one of you a great rest of your day. Bye.